Hi, I'm Dr. Jamil Smith, pediatric psychologist at Wayne Pediatrics, and welcome to this episode of Detroit Peds Talk. With school shootings and political vitriol and war going on, on the news and social media, it's important to consider the young people in our lives and the kind of support that they're going to be needing as uh, the world is navigating very troubling times. I know that our children are managing some pretty grown up daily issues and I thought today that I would provide you with some tips on how to support them as they uh, process what's going on in their world. First you want to think about the environment and setting the stage to have conversations about what they might be thinking as uh, current events unfold. You want to make sure that they have a safe space with little distractions to um, talk about and unpack what might be going on in their heads about their world. Oftentimes you can do this by having daily check-ins at the dinner table or in the car ride or on the walk home where you're just asking how they're doing and um, bringing up topics that you think that they might be thinking about. Next, you want to think about your own emotional state. You, as a parent, are a human being um, with your own responses to situations as they occur in our world. And so it's important that you are taking care of yourself and are tapping into how you are feeling emotionally. Um, it's important to be honest about your emotions and trying to focus on how to manage your own emotions as you're supporting your child. This can be such a powerful tool for them because when they learn that there is language for emotions and you're modeling for them how to articulate those and what you're doing to help yourself, it can be such a powerful way to help them um, to get what they need and ask for what they need and communicate how they're, how they're feeling. Then you want to find out what they know about the topic. Start by asking, you know, their understanding of what's going on, their feelings, their fears. You can acknowledge, um, you know, your position and be reassuring that you're there for them. If they have questions and if you don't know the answers that you will try to figure out how to find the answers in a way that is supportive for them. Try to make your questions direct and as open ended as possible. You know, something like, um, what are you thinking about? It's an open-ended question. It allows them to just say whatever they're thinking and it encourages them to have questions as well. Then you want to observe your child's emotions. Often young people aren't able to articulate their emotions in a way that is understandable for grown-ups, but you can definitely get a sense of how they're feeling by noticing physically what's going on with them. And so you can say to them, I notice that you are shutting down or in your room and closing the door. I notice that your hands are shaking or your face looks sad. Um, what's going on with that? That can be a, a, a way to give them language for their emotions and open the conversation for them to talk about what is happening. Um, you don't need to uh, force the conversation, but just be ready to discuss. You always want to tell your child the truth, right? And doing so in a, deve a developmentally appropriate way. And so you don't have to give all of the, de the details about what might be going on, but you can be very succinct and direct in describing um, something that is occurring in a way that is helpful to them. Having an even, not alarming tone can often be comforting for them. Give them reassurance and support by letting them know that you're gonna keep them safe and um, you may not have all the answers, but you will be sure to be there for them. That can often be very powerful as well. And then you wanna know when to reach out for professional help. A licensed mental health professional can often be someone that can help your child process what they might be experiencing. This can be a psychologist like myself, a social worker, someone else who calls themselves a therapist. Um, you can often find that person uh, through your health insurance um, by getting a list from them. Oftentimes your pediatrician 
can be a good resource because your pediatrician is going to know how to find these kinds of individuals and help you um, navigate the support that your child might need. Remember, your child uh, is going to be, you know, hearing about what's going on in the world, maybe from friends, from social media. And so it's great when you can let them know that you're aware and you know that they have a need that you can um, support them with. Uh, and so having these kind of conversations can be very good for your parent-child relationship and your child's overall emotional well-being. Thank you so much for joining me for this edition of Detroit Peds Talk. For more information about Wayne Pediatrics, please go to waynepediatrics.org. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook for a new episode every first Wednesday of the month. And remember, pediatricians are the best option for the medical needs of children. Take care.